Hey guys, it's Luna here with another Bioshock The Collection Collectibles video. If you haven't done so already, check out the first five videos for the collectibles to the Medical Pavilion, Neptune's Bounty, the Smuggler's Hideout, Arcadia, and the Farmer's Market. In this video, we are in Fort Frolic, one of my personal favorite places in the game, and we will get all of this location done in this video. Before we start, I want to mention some achievements and trophies, but before that, if you do like this video, hit the thumbs up, I appreciate the support. Now this game's achievements and trophies are pretty straightforward, but a few of them do need some explaining. Since I assume most people watching a collectibles guide are usually trying to get a thousand Gs or the Platinum Trophy, it's probably worth mentioning. In this map, Fort Frolic, there are two possible achievements to get, but we are only going for one, and I will explain why in a second. The second one we are going for is the lucky winner, where you win the jackpot on the slot machines. I will cover that when we get started. The other achievement possible in this map is the irony achievement. It takes a picture of Sander Cohen's body. Once you finish the masterpiece quest, Sander Cohen comes down the stairs and you can kill him and take a picture of his body. You will also get the key from his body that opens the muse box. But don't because you will miss the found Cohen's room achievement that requires Sander Cohen to be alive. So when you see him, just leave him alone and you will get both achievements later in the game anyway when you get to Olympus Heights. So I hope that makes sense. If you really want, you can kill him now and reload the game. But it's kind of pointless as you can just kill him later in the game anyway. If you have both achievements already, then you should definitely kill him because you'll get the key and you can open the muse box, which is in this room. First off, as soon as you enter into Fort Frolic, you can turn right and use a slot machine. There are some later in this map if you want to wait. Save your game and just keep going until you hit the jackpot and you can reload your save if you've run out of money. I did this, I had to reload once, but the second time I did, after three rolls, I got my achievement. So once you've done that, you can then move on to the collectibles. First up, head into the main atrium where you collect the masterpieces. And if you haven't done so already, pick up the tonic. Continue forward and just outside the bathrooms is an audio diary. Turn right and into the salon to find an audio diary. Head Get across to the next room for a safe and another audio diary. Continue on from here to the lounge to find an audio diary and a power to the people. Once you've done that, you can hand back to the main atrium. From the stairs, head up, and on the left hand side is an audio diary. Go left to find a room with an audio diary and three safes inside. From here you're going to head back out and left into the Fleet Theatre. Go inside the theatre to find a tonic. You'll have to go around the balconies a bit and jump across. Once that's collected, head back towards the exit of the theatre, but don't go out yet, go up the stairs on the left hand side, and inside of here you will find a tonic and two audio diaries, as well as the director's commentary golden reel for this map.
Head out of here and head towards the Poseidon frozen area. On the way you can find a gatherer's garden. If you've decided to save the little sister you will find a bear right next to the gatherer's garden. Continue on from here into the entrance of the Poseidon area and there is an audio diary just at the entrance. Continue on to the next main area and enter into Surprise. The door is closed from the bottom the first time you go here so you'll have to go upstairs and use the top entrance. But if you've already opened it just head in and on the bottom is an audio diary and behind one of the counters is a safe. From here we're going to stick to the bottom floor, go all the way around to the left to Sinclair Spirits. Behind the counter is a switch to open the door. Downstairs is a power to the people and a safe. Now when you activate this, the clay models that are kind of lying around in this area, they will come alive. So you have to watch out and kill them as you go. But this also activates a secret door. So if you head out of here and head back, there's a set of stairs that go down just outside of Sinclair Spirits. And inside is a room and that contains a tonic inside there. Once you've collected that, head back up the stairs and go forward towards the tabacaria to find an audio diary. In this room there is also a secret room so if you don't want to hack you can use the door code 7774. There's nothing really in there but you can still get that anyway. Once you've done that go from here to Eve's garden. Inside of here if you go all the way to the back room first there's a safe, an audio diary, head back out and on one of the counters is another audio diary. Leave the garden here, Eve's garden, using the stairs just beside you. Make your way to the Pharaoh's Fortune Casino. Head inside, clear out the enemies and there is an audio diary sitting on the pool table on the top floor. Finally, X out of here. Go left and into Rapture Records and directly on the left hand side underneath the desk is your final collectible for this area, another audio diary. And that is everything for Fort Frolic. You can finish off any missions you have here now and continue on to the next area. As always, if you did enjoy this video, please leave a like, comment and subscribe and I will catch you guys next time where we will be going into Hephaestus. So hope you guys have a good day. I will see you then. Bye bye.